Hello everyone, and welcome back to Unabridged. Since the last time, I've done research on the power situation to see if I can improve it from last time. Because we were trying to use this thing, the heated redstone generator. Now, while this thing isn't bad, it requires redstone, which we can generate using our agricraft stuff. But in order to farm that, we need this agricraft farming station right here. This. We need this. <laughs> which takes electrical steel, which takes an alloy smelter, right? It takes a farming intelligence module, which takes a Z-Logic controller, controller, which means you need to slice and splice, and solarium, which comes from an alloy smelter. Also need pulsating crystals from pulsating iron that we get, you guessed it, from an alloy smelter. <laughs> um, machine chassis, we can make this, but the point is, it's, it's long and complicated and it's unnecessary. But what we can do, and what we are going to be doing, is using the magmatic dynamos, these things. The magmatic dynamo, it's much better than the heated redstone generator anyway. Like it generates, I don't even remember, but it's like four times as much um, RF than one from one bucket of lava than this thing does. So it's way better. <laughs> but the reason I, why I didn't start with this was because it takes Invar, which is got from um, combining iron and ferrous, or nickel, dust. And I didn't have an easy supply of that. Right, but I went mining, and I got a bunch. 13. 13 ferrous ore. And what you can do is Agricraft has Niscus, or N-I-C-Z, -C yeah, these guys. Nis, 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 Nicusis, whatever, doesn't matter how you pronounce it. But it's just gold and dandelion, so that's, that's how we're going to go about getting this set up. So, over in the Agricraft, Agriculture area, right, uh, I don't know where I want to put it, um, let's see where's a good place. I also found more diamonds. Ow! Oh, I didn't even have my jetpack on. Jeez, I'm smart. Do I have... I should have a hoe somewhere near here so I can replant that. Did it break the... Wow, broke the crop sticks too. That's great. Alright. Good start. Good start. Uh, I'm gonna make a cut, and by then I'll have everything nice and set up. Alright. So... I brought a dandelion seed over from the farm here. I brought a gold seed over from the farm here and left a giant hole in the ground. And I planted or placed the ferrous underneath these here all the way up to there. So it's like sort of half. Now these guys just need to grow. I should have my watering can. Yep. So once they grow, I'll just put two sticks down. And then once these guys grow, that's weeds. No, they get out of my rake. Not on me. Great. Alright. Hey, no, that's dandelion. So close. That guy has to grow. Grow. I don't need dandelion seeds. There we go. Let's try this again. Come on. Nope. I'll get this on camera. It'll make me feel better. Nope. Jeez. The luck is bad with this one. Nope, those are weeds. <laughs> Come on. Hey, there we go. Niska seeds. That's what we're looking for. And if we analyze that, it takes forever. But that's to be expected. Niska seeds. Alright. So from these Niska seeds, we do the same thing that we've done for all the other seeds. Make them 10, 10, 10, and then spread them out through everything else. So I'll do that, and then I'll be back. All right, all the Niska seeds have been grown up. So I have all of these 10, 10, 10s. It's pretty good. This other half of the field will be for some other kind of seed when I need it, similar to how I did, like everything else. But now we have to go about harvesting all of these. And these only give you nuggets, which is kind of disappointing. But 
but I have 47, and I left some more in the chest over here. So 47 plus, I think, a stack in here. Uh, yeah, right there. So I have a stack in 46, sorry. But using that, because I don't have any form of alloy smelter or anything like that, I could use a pulverizer, but why would I? Um, I only have that for, like, various things. But I'll just take these nuggets, combine them into ingots, and then plop them into the smeltery, and then use that to combine them with the iron. So, just like that. They don't have that many, but that's alright. Blank. Alright, make one more. Nice. There you go. So then I need 24 iron. Which I most definitely have. There we go. And then I just throw all this into the smeltery. It's probably big enough. Yeah. And that should give me... Um... 36 in bar? I think? Yeah. Which, granted, isn't a lot, but you know, we can use that. I'm going to make a cut. When I come back, I'll have a bunch more in bar. I'll be harvesting those. Should be a good time. Alright, we're back. I've gotten a bunch more in bar from the ferris, and then combining it in the smeltery, dumping it out, yada yada yada. I got 64 and 47, plus enough to make two magmatic dynamos. The gears is just four invar around an iron, and these things is just redstone and silver, so it's pretty easy. And I'm gonna get two of them. So, first off, I think I'm gonna break that, and then get rid of this thing, because it's terrible. I'm gonna leave that in the same place, but put one there and there, and then use the fluiduct to take out from that side. Yeah. And that will put into these. I'll start pumping into these. But that's not all. Because <laughs> we also want augments on these. That's the main reason that I'm using them and not the heated lava generators. So if we search augment, um, I'm going to go for level 2, the flux modulation booster and the flux linkage optimization together. So this one is glowstone, lead, electrum, redstone, and one of these. And then this one is glowstone, silver, copper, and one of these. <laughs> all pretty simple stuff. And when I have all of that made, I'll be back. Alright, I crafted up two of all four of the things that we need. Because it says you have to put in the previous level of the augment in order for it to work, so that's why I have two of each. And if we come down here to the dynamos, if I stick in one of these, didn't require the previous level to be installed. Maybe it does? Do I have to? Oh. So if I go like that, and that, and then I guess I can do one of these. Um, because it says, okay, does this work? As for redstone control settings to be utilized, do we need that? Or not? I don't think we do. So, I mean, I can take that out and put in that. Maybe? <laughs> Will that work? I don't know. And I'll try it for this one, too. So, take that one out, and then put these four in and see if this works when I add a servo onto here. Boom. And set that to ignored. I'm starting to fill up. Generating power quite quickly. <laughs> um, I don't know if the augments are being used, but is this full? No. It'll get there. <laughs> It's kind of slow. Oh, I guess it's probably limited by the pipes. Because these are pretty crappy pipes under here. They can only hold 6,000 at a time. And it's going to input 8,000 at a time, so... 
Alright, I think this works. Um, this obviously has 16,000 buckets of lava in it still, so... How fast is that going down? Not, no. About 100. Yeah. Okay. That's not too bad. I don't think, anyway. And with constant lava input from the nether anyway, it should be fine. I just want to know if this works. Like, if it's actually working the way it should be or not. I think it would be, but... I don't know. This now has 600,000... 700,000 RF in it. And this is full. So I can take off my jetpack, just stick that in there. Watch all the power get drained out. But it should charge right up. All the way up to... 900... or 2 million. Is there enough? Should be. Hopefully. Yeah. Nice full 100% jetpack. I didn't have to use these stupid steam dynamos. <laughs> Granted, they're not bad, but I mean... Other things are just much, much better. So, This has, what, a million in it? <laughs> this can hold 20 million? So, we're 1 20th of the way to filling this thing. Which I think is pretty good. <laughs> Let's see, there's 4,000. I have 11,000. It's only been like a minute. There's a zombie out here. Yeah, you can die. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. I was trying to intrude. Well, at least we have convenient storage of all these things. <laughs> Blop. And. Alright, I took out both the redstone circuit things. Is there a way to craft those? Yeah. Why would you ever need to craft them? Because they come pre installed on most machines. But whatever. And the head. Alright, so I think that's the power of situation worked out pretty well. Um because these are gonna pump until this thing runs out, and then when it does, we just flip this, the thing in the nether will turn on, and lava will just immediately fill that up and fill this up. And then we can keep going. It's a nice cycle. Alright. Well, there's another little thing that I wanted to do. And that would be from the Reliquary mod. Reliquary. Right. This mod is really cool. It adds in a bunch of random things. <laughs> but they're like super useful. And the main thing is these Nian Zoos. A creeper, skeleton, and zombie. That I like, I want. Because zombies can't see with this. Basically it means that you're literally invisible to the zombies. Like, they don't even attack you when you have this on. Okay. So this takes zombie pearls, which has got from six zombie hearts, two rotten flesh, and a bone. And I need six of them. So, I should be good. I just take all those out. 48. Crap, I didn't lock that. So, no. Alright. Um, and then I need some rotten flesh. And bones. Oh, there we go. So if we run up here, the zombie, one more, there we go. The zombie pearls, that's just this, and I need six of these. And then that, I need a string, should have one up here, yep. Nice. And then just ding, ding, not zombie, Nianzu. So now, if I go out and find a zombie, somewhere, there's got to be one around here somewhere. <laughs> Got a hang glider. I can stand like right next to it, and it's not gonna go after me. That's why these things are really good. Here we go. He's a zombie. Yeah. So look, he's not even attacking me. I'm like right here. He doesn't care. He's just sort of. He's just chilling. I touch him, I don't even take damage. That's why this is. I could drop him off the cliff if I wanted. He wouldn't kill him. There's a creeper right there. Nope. Okay. Well, yeah, okay. But. Extremely useful, that is. So useful that I talk like Yoda, apparently. Um. But additionally, along with the zombie one, there's ones for creepers and skeletons. And wither skeletons, but. I don't have enough. It requires wither skulls, and I don't have enough of them, so. 
are we doing over here? That's empty. So these are slowly gonna start draining now. Uh, that should fill up like immediately, and it's not. That's great. Or no, it's not. It should be on. Ah. I guess I need to go to the Nether and load the chunks, because I guess the endothermic. Oh, it's possible that they're in different chunk boundaries. I'll have to look at that at some point. <laughs> but anyway. Coming down here. We can make another one of the Nian Zoo's skeleton one. Which requires rib bones. Seeing 36 rib bones. Do I have that? I have 32. Alright, it's good, it's good. And then I have only 19 of those. So we can't really make any other ones besides the zombie one. And I have a bunch of clutter in my inventory that I should probably get rid of. Okay. Alright, well, there's other things in the Reliquary Mod that are quite useful, if I do say so myself. And I do. So just put my hammer in there. Um. Hang on. No, like, miss no, I don't want that. You, you. And that was a tool. Alright. So, bringing that up. But there's a bunch of bunch of stuff in here. Like this glowing bread, for instance, that completely restores hunger. It's gonna be pretty useful. <laughs> Made with glowing water. And you just combine that with bread, and you have three pieces of glowing bread. Very, very useful stuff. Okay. To be honest, I'm not really like planning for anything. I'm just sort of going through and Picking out what seems to be kind of good. So. <laughs> Lantern of Paranoia places torches in on that area. So it's pretty good. There is... Hang on, there was one thing that I know gave me, like, complete fire resist. Protects you from lava damage. Um, absorbs fire damage at the expense of hunger. Ooh, Phoenix down. Resurrects you once with full health and reverts to an angelic feather. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Ah, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> I want to save my catalyzing glance for a creeper neon zoo, so... Not gonna be doing that. But this infernal claws... Or the infernal chalice that uses two infernal claws. Um... Uh, that takes infernal claws, ironically. <laughs> um, I don't think I have enough to make. I need five of those. I don't have that many samples. We have one. <laughs> Jeez. So much stuff in here that I can't make. <laughs> Shift cast, cast, long cast, node warp, or bind. Sounds pretty useful. How do I make this? Four nebulous hearts, two bat wings, an empty void tier. How many gas tiers? I have one. Eh. Uh, don't really want to use that. Getting kind of disgruntled because I don't know what to do. Well, I don't know. There's probably some more machines I need to make at the moment. So, ther to germal? thermal. Let's see what do we want here. So furnace, aux accumulator, extruder, there's a dipstator. Hmm. An induction smelter might be kind of useful to have. Because, I mean, it, like... There are some strong boxes or something, I don't know. But, like... Like an induction smelter, it's like an alloy smelter. Um. But, I guess a normal alloy smelter would be better if I'm doing that at all. Viaduct. Transfers players. Weird. <laughs> well, as you could probably tell, this is kind of getting weird. So, I'm going to leave this here to prevent you from being bored any further. You <laughs> like and subscribe if you enjoy. Leave a comment with any feedback you have for me, and I'll see all of you later. Bye.